Carolina getting as close as he possibly can to the recovery efforts. How's it looking from where you are, Brian? Hi, John. Well, look, the weather has improved remarkably so since the weekend, and that is good news. The first videos of incredible conditions recovering spy that is great for satellite satellite from the sea. That is obviously underway. Thanks You're for watching. Live. Thanks for the new subscribers, and please subscribe if you haven't. military have ships that are over the debris field that is said to be 15 by 15 football fields wide. Right now, this is all about what's happening underwater. You mentioned it, 50 feet deep. The USNS um, Pathfinder is a survey ship that is using special sonar and unmanned underwater vehicles to map out that seafloor and locate what's left of China's spy airship that is sitting about 50 feet below. The airship is said to weigh a couple thousand pounds and is the size of a regional Learjet. The U.S. military says a majority of the debris left floating on the surface of the ocean has been picked up by Navy divers. The debris is first brought onto the USS Carter Hall to be categorized by the FBI and naval investigators. The debris is brought onto shore, unloaded, and then taken to the FBI's crime lab at Quantico, Virginia. U.S. Fleet Forces Command released these new images from Sunday, showing the teams pulling out remnants of the white Chinese spy balloon from the Atlantic Ocean after it was sh shot out of the sky by an F-22. General Glenn uh, Van Herc, commander of NORAD in NORTHCOM, said the decision to allow the spy balloon to travel across the country allowed the military to collect intel on the Chinese surveillance airship using Our American first YouTube picture spy, of the spy, spy plane. This uh, gave us the opportunity Please to stay, assess what they were actually doing, stay uh, what tuned kind of for more. existed on the plane, Please subscribe. what kind of transmission capabilities existed, and uh, I think you'll see in the future that uh, that uh, time frame was uh, well worth its uh, value to collect over an explosive ordnance team is also on site because they don't know, perhaps, the Chinese may have put explosives on the airship. And one more note, John, the general says that people on shore should watch out for some debris. Perhaps with those underwater currents and the currents in general, it could wash up ashore. And they urge people to contact law enforcement if that does happen. John? Well, whoever was wishing you clear skies and calm seas got their wish. Brian Hennis, thanks for the update. Yeah. Appreciate it. Sandra? Let's bring in David Sears now, retired Navy SEAL commander, SEAL Team 6 member, and author of Smarter, Not Harder. He has insight into dive operations just like this one. Thank you very much, sir, for joining Thanks us. Thanks for watching. Uh, Thanks for subscribing. Those images back up on the screen for our viewers as this is the first look that we are getting now. Uh, the U.S. Navy just releasing these images to us. Um, what should we... What should we make of what we see on the screen here, and, and what does it tell you so far what has been recovered? Well, it's one of the first things that they're going to do is recover all the surface debris that they can find, and they're going to use those, what you're seeing there are the smaller boats that they can put out, rigid inflatable boats. So they have their very rigid bottom, and they have inflatable sides. They're standard sort of Coast Guard and Navy at sea recovery boats, and they'll pull everything that they can in and then get clear that scene so that then the other ship, the Pathfinder that was mentioned, can pass over and start to map out with sonar, either side scan or multi scan sonar, the bottom of the sea. Again, first where the pictures rest of the Chinese is. spy balloon recovered, going to Quantico, Virginia, for analysis. Now, Dave, the, the search area Stay is tuned for more. Square football fields uh, around, which is actually uh, not too bad. Did you subscribe? Which ocean there is out there? Do not uh, receive more if you don't subscribe. The balloon would have floated away, but that the payload package probably came down intact, at least until it hit the water. Do you expect that that would be in more of a concentrated debris field than the balloon itself? Well, coming from that altitude, the God bless, see you later. came down at, you know, 